Hi everybody, it is now November 1914 and here are the variable uh, entry rules for all the different empires. So, Beginning in August of 1914, we have to make a roll. Uh, and then in November uh, for the Ottoman Empire. Rolled in August and rolled a one, so they did not come in for the war. So, well, the first thing is you got to roll a six to bring them in, and then there's uh, dice roll modifiers that are brought in. So, in August, the Ottomans, you have to roll, you got a minus two uh, to automatically to the die roll, and then you have for each German Hungarian uh, major city lost. Plus one for each French and Russian city lost, except for odds. I do have that city, but it doesn't count. Bulgaria is not in the war, so that doesn't count. So I have two French cities. So let's just see what happens. I'll roll a die here. This is for November. So here's a plus two. So I need to roll a four or better. And I rolled a ten. All right. So put that there all right now uh so ottoman empire has come into this into the game the this is the reinforcement phase of the central powers so now we have to make look at italy italy comes in every six months beginning in november this is november uh they join the uh central powers on a or allies on a three or less. Join the central powers on a 14 or more. Uh, that looks really hard on a D10. Uh, okay, so the United States is not in the war. It's uh, not May 1915. Each central power city, that doesn't count. For each French city other than Paris, controlled by the central power, that's plus two. Uh, plus two to the central power, Controls uh, Paris. All right, don't have that done yet. Uh, and all right, it's November 1914, so we have a plus five to the die roll. So we need to roll a. Uh, we need to roll a 14, so a nine or better. So the odds are not in our favor. Roll this die here, and ten. All right. Well, so Italy has joined the war on the central power side that's interesting probably because they're seeing what's happening in france right now so it seems like just happened the same thing happened in guns of august but you know that's just the nature of the beast uh, okay bulgaria uh beginning april 1915 so we got to wait till april to wor worry about bulgaria Romania begins in February of 1916, so there's some time left to worry about them. Greece, not, not till June 1916. And the United States, uh, every 12 months. So the first die roll we make is in April. So in April, we have to worry about Bulgaria and the United States coming into the war. All right. So, are there any special rules for Italy that are coming in? No. So, we don't have to worry about anybody else. So, all right. At the moment, we have um, the, uh, what do you call it? We have to worry about Greece, Bulgaria, or Romania. Now, the Ottomans are down here. So I'll take their forces and organize them because right now in the caucus box there is some Ottomans facing off against the um, the Russians, and then we also have a few forces sitting in the Middle East facing off basically against Britain. So I might have to move some of these forces that are on the board here because right now they're landlocked. And they don't have a way to get their troops over here. No way to do it. 
You're going to have to go through Bulgaria to get through to over here into Serbia. Because that is where the railroads go through. So, now at the moment, Ottoman Empire is landlocked. So, all these troops right here probably should go into these two boxes, except for a handful, just to face off against the troops that are over here. All right. So, this is the in between turn, and we'll get on with the next turn. Hello, everybody. It is the Central Powers turn in November. The Italians have just came into the war, so they got uh, moved up here. There was a uh, unit here in France on the border. And they attacked across the border and got a, an exchange, uh, three to one odds. And end result was they took the city, but they lost uh, a couple units in the process of taking that city out. Now, here is sort of paid off up here. There was the, or it's still, the British unit was sitting right here. The Germans moved up and attacked it. It got a defender demoralized, so it fell back. So they did take it out. So the Brits held out there, but the Germans were slowed down. So they couldn't advance over to here to Paris. So their little bit of sacrifice and some men stopped the Germans advanced a little bit, slowed it down. There was a unit uh, right here that they pulled the troops off the line right here in the last, previous month moved their start extending their lines out by thinning their troops out right here and they had a, a unit sitting right here it was attacked because the germans moved up here attacked it and they got a defender demoralized so some of the units were destroyed and some fell back to here so they're still have a semblance of a line right here now right here where is it at um right there uh there was the fort that was verdun right there the germans that hit it with their siege artillery and a massive attack and some of the units uh, there was one that survived with a de defender demoralize it got kicked out and the other two were eliminated in the process. So, but the Germans did a good job on it. But the line still is sort of holding right here. And nothing happened here because the Germans didn't want to attack yet. They have their big push going on right here and over here. So this is just a holding game right there for them. And this is uh, the advance going on. Now, um the okay we got here I'm not sure exactly how we're supposed to use this i think these forces can attack the forces over here i need to look online and figure out what happens here i think that's what happens but the ottomans have some troops in the middle east box and they have some troops in the caucus box uh, kind of facing off so i'm going to figure what happens out there so i'm not really sure and then they have some troops just parked over here in constantinople their capital <clears throat> now over here the austrians moved their troops up over here swung them around and there was a russian units right here there was a bunch of cav that was on the flank right here they were the ones that came down here and they were trying to go down the roads and get it flanking around but they got cut off so they just held the line and they got hit and eliminated by uh three army groups right here it was one here here and here and they attacked and advanced through there uh they thought about attacking here but they are working on they got some reinforcements coming up here some of this stuff was stuff that got trained up out of uh, Serbia. These, they moved some of their weaker forces down into Serbia as garrison duty. And then they 
took their stronger units or railroaded them up here. So they're not in the, the battle yet. Over here, the Germans uh, did have this core that was sitting down here. They moved them up and they attacked here. These two army groups attacked the Russian unit that was sitting here and demoralized some of them and eliminated some of them. So the Germans did sort of do it in advance just to kick back the uh, uh, Russians a little bit. So the Russians do have some demoralized units. And then the Germans moved some troops out uh, down here. They had railroad some of the men and uh, to the border and kicked them off the railroad, at the border and moved them down. So they are converging on Warsaw at the moment. So that will be an interesting fight here soon, maybe next month in December. Maybe Warsaw will belong to the Kaiser by Christmas, a Christmas present for the Kaiser. Unless the Russians can do something about it. So that's everything that's going on around here for the Central Powers turn. We'll see what the Allies can do. All right, everybody. We are here sitting at the November Allied turn. And what we got here is the uh, British moved their forces up. The demoralized unit came back here. Uh, the artillery joined up with them to give them a little bit of fire support. And the British are now hold, sort of trying to hold up the line right here. The French extend their line some more. And it's getting a little thin over there. I'm not sure how long it's going to hold out. But they're trying to create a line that protects across the board. Uh, they built some units there. Re uh, reinforcements came in down here. They formed a line down at the bottom down here because, well, they have to address the Italians coming across the border here. So, and their demoralized units, they sent down here to Marcel just to refit them and throw them into the line, create a line down here to stop the, because the only way the Italians can come through, they have to go through here. And this is a one-way street right here. So if they can hold the line here, they can stop the Italians cold. Because the Italians cannot get across over here. Because they're lying of one, two, three, four, five. So they can only get to right here. So basically, they can't even threaten a city. So they have to come around through here. So they know that. This, this is like unpassable terrain practically. It takes forever to get through there. So right now, the French are just trying to hold until relieved or some way. Try to get some reinforcements to show up. Now, the Russians are on the offensive over here. They got their fresh units come in off the reinforcement table and they rebuilt some units that were crushed earlier. And they got everything up, moved up here. And what they had before moved up and hit this unit right here that was sitting right there. And got a uh, three defender demoralized and pushed this unit completely off the line. So they pushed them up here. So the Russians are on the offensive. They reconsolidated behind the river right here. Since Warsaw is a fort, they're going to hold the fort right there. And then they're going on the other side of the river and starting to dig in. Right here, they hammered the Austrians on the end of their flank. They're threatening this city again. Uh, they just, there was a bunch of units right here. They had some exchanges involved and some destruction. So the Russians did win the battle. They took some casualties, but the Austrians have took a bunch of losses that they can't really afford to lose right now. So that's what is happening. Is it... Uh, this city right here is under major threat right now, once again. So we'll see what happens there. But the Austrians can solidify their line up to here. So the Russians are not giving up. They're pushing, pushing hard, trying to uh, make it a war. But uh, they're just waiting for the winter to really slow everything down on the uh, Russian front. But 
that is what's happening around here. All right. Hopefully, we'll see what the uh, happens in December. Speaking of December, let me roll. Let's see here. Seven. Let's just see what the weather is going to be like coming. Seven in December is snow. Okay. Supply lines have been cut short to three for everybody. So, snow. That really hurts things in some ways. We'll just have to see um, how that affects the battle. And your supply lines can only advance one at a time. All right. We'll be back.